Hey, in this video, I wanna show you four font management systems you can actually use for Mac and PC. So as you know, being a graphic designer, we're always using fonts, playing with typography, you know, messing things up and being creative with letters and all that cool stuff. But we actually need a system to manage all our fonts that we install on our PC or on our Mac, right? So I'm gonna give you four ones. One of the best ones for Mac at the moment is actually called FontBase. So it's a great management tool. I love the clean UI and layout. It's got that sort of dark mode feel, but I'm gonna scroll down here. You can see it's got a lot of different features features here and they've even got Google fonts updated so you can connect that which is really cool so it's got updates it's got performance that's really awesome and it's just a nice way to keep everything um, balanced and managed so you also got you know different the one that I've been using is called Nexus font because I'm on a PC I need one that's just free and easy to use this one's free um, this site is not dodgy it's um secure as you can see it's got the little mark but it's you got to go to exiles.app um, to find this but you can type nexus font on google and you should be able to find it so you can see here uh, basically it doesn't look like that i don't know why um, that's probably an old version but if i quickly show you what it looks like on my computer it's called nexus font basically this is what it is it's, it's pretty straightforward it just manages my fonts i can uninstall i can add tags and collections but i use it as a way just to delete fonts that i don't need um, over time because as a designer it stacks up you know i think one time i had like probably like 3,000 fonts installed and it was bad but anyway on to the next one we've got a uh, one called suitcase fusion and this is another good one. The issue with this one, it's not free. It's actually paid. So this is the downfall for this one. You can try for free, free, but it will actually limit you in some aspects. But when it comes to font manager, you want something that's just easy to use and simple. Like you don't want to spend time, you know, playing with your files. So if you want to be quick, but this is another option that you do have. Then lastly here, we have typeface three and it's a really great design. Really love this. The thing is, this is only for Mac users. So shout out to all the Mac users out there. You guys get a bit more of the cool apps here. So it's a minimal interface and they totally focus on your fonts. So it makes it you know, all the worthwhile. They do have a free trial, but it actually is a price. And let's suss out the pricing here for you. It's actually $50 Australian for one user, right? So, oh, that's a nice app icon, by the way. So you do pay, but you know, it's very simple, clean, and it's probably fast as well on your, on your Mac. You can scroll down here. Um, I like the website as well, it's really clean. Uh, but you can see all these little, you know, pictures that they have. So, you know, something really simple. You've got some free ones, some paid ones. Those are the ones that I recommend. And make sure that you're managing your fonts. Don't just keep installing fonts because what I've found that the more you install, the more it's gonna lag Illustrator. Photoshop and probably other Adobe programs because what tends to happen is when you click type um, the type font list it has to load all that data from your computer right so the less fonts the less data it has to load which is going to ultimately speed up everything so I recommend downloading one of these delete the fonts you don't use you know just keep your top 100 fonts you use um, that's probably a lot but anyway you probably only use like 10 um, to be honest but anyway just a quick tip Hope you guys download one of these. Hope you guys find this useful. Let me know in the comments below if this was boring, if this was cool, or if it's just, you know, you want to see some other stuff, right? And smash the like button because the YouTube algorithm needs them likes. And subscribe for more design content and branding content. I help graphic designers grow and run a full-time design business. So make sure you subscribe for more creative content. Thank you so much for watching. Jeremy here. I want to talk to you in the next video.